All right, yo diggity. Uh, sorry about the lighting. Um, hi. Okay, so I guess I'm really glad I did that last video when I did it. Um, and a lot of things are really, really starting to make sense. In fact, I'm going to share some of them with you. Uh, by the way, if you did watch my video called Why I'm Not in Radio Anymore, um, well, again, I'm just going to reiterate, I am the only one who has cured gangrene, made her own products, who actually healed people, like, literally all over the world. Go to mytrueessence.weebly.com, and that website has not even been updated with testimonials since 2013 when they killed me. Of course, just check out my Facebook page and everyone who knows me, if you do need more references. Um, wow, where do I start? So I made the video. I still had not heard from anyone, not Aaron, who put me down and, oh, don't accuse me. I, that's not on my site. I didn't do that. It obviously, it came from another site instead of like, dude, seriously, if she was like a cool, nice, normal human being, she'd be like, oh my God. Wow. I am so sorry. Wow, here, let me uh, give you credit. Or how can I rectify this? Do I give you credit or do I take it down? Do I show the original video? Oh, no, no. And by the way, for those of you who are new to my channel and don't know, they deleted a dozen of my channels. Uh huh. They actually filed fake copyright and trademark on my own videos, direct live upload videos just like this. Mm -hmm. And that's what all of my health experiments were that are gone forever. Why are they gone forever? Hmm, stalkers, hackers, deleters. <laughs> okay, well, in that video, getting back to, I'm rambling, there's so much to say here, and eventually the whole, whole, whole story. Yeah, you're gonna have to kill me. That's all I gotta say. You're gonna... <laughs> You're going to have to this time. You're going to have to get it right this time. That's all I got to say. Because, <laughs> yeah, that's all I got to say. All right. So, um, yeah, in the video, I said I quit radio. Um, why I won't go back to radio is because I want a psychopath-free life. I don't know if I went into details on that particular video, but I definitely have in other shows and interviews. But basically, in a nutshell, the entire alternative radio, alternative news network, anyone that you're allowed to hear their name, right? Any of these people with all the millions, um, with all the different websites, and there's no real names, but they all forward them around and get y'all forwarding them around, and it's... It all goes back to the exact same people, right? So, yeah. Anyways. Um, I... Shit, where was I going with that? Okay, so, yeah. Um, so, details, yeah, it's a military sex and drug cult. The entire thing is. The... I'm telling you, all these people that you think you are... That are on your side fighting for you. Hmm. All the infinite love... Love and light, uh, your protection from deception, you're all of these things, dude, seriously, you're paying all these people money, who were using work from people they killed, and some people that came back to life, hello, and, uh, yeah, well, anyways, Aaron, I mean, there's way more other people involved, I've talked about him before, the geos, you know, truth, basically everybody you're allowed to hear, Alex, you know, all of them, okay? All working together. I have firsthand experience. I don't give a fuck. Argue with me all you want. I'm not reading blogs and making assumptions like the rest of you. I know these people personally, firsthand experience, documented. There's a reason why people have been sent after me and hacked my blah, blah, blah. Anyways, if you've been around the last dozen years, whatever. If you haven't and you look at, go start with my gang stalking playlist. Okay. All right. Cause yeah, I was pretty upset and you know, and all this stuff has been going on. So I just got home from work and I um, was just looking at my video 
And I'm going to read to you a couple comments here. It's a video I made today showing Aaron's comments and, you know, oh, it's not our site, obviously. If you weren't so homeless, you would be able to figure it out. <laughs> okay, so um, here's one. I see she deleted your comments. People only delete when they have something to hide. How disgusting. I'm sorry. Uh, next one. Much of the information, ideas, and information being... Much of the material, ideas, and information being shared to an increasing worldwide audience by an equally increasing secondary source platforms you covered many, many years ago, before it was so popular, when I started looking through your archived YouTube videos. By the way, this is like the 13th channel. Okay, so... <laughs> There's a lot of stuff you'll know only the stalkers have, okay? I don't have nobody. They stole them from you. They stole real health experiments and information from you. In the name of love. They're going to talk. Oh, this holistic doctor's dead. This holistic doctor's dead. Oh, I knew this one died an hour or a day before I told you. I was, how do you know? How would you know? People died before the news and everyone else, or fake news. Yeah, and really? Who's, 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 who's killing him? Are you friends with him? Like, did you kill them like you killed, tried to kill me? Mm hmm It's a network. It's not all Aaron, for those of you who are, you know, no. I've never actually had any personal experience with her. Um... Until, uh, the last few days. <laughs> These are the people you know, in part of the network. I'll just leave it at that. So some names when I say my channel disappears, so <laughs> gotta be careful. All right, so you covered many years ago, blah, blah, blah. You're once, oh, okay, and realized your archive video, YouTube videos, and realized that you were and are a one-stop shop for those myriad yet intercepting concepts, research, and road tested by you treatments. I was not resentful towards you and your work, and it didn't make me feel stupid or slow. I've spent countless hours searching out information over the years. I was delighted for myself for having found so much on your channel, and I was and am respectful and grateful towards you for having created them. It costs nothing to give credit and appreciation where it is due. <clears throat> I'm gradually working my way through your radio interviews, and it's very clear very early on that you were far ahead of the times in sharing knowledge and information in the fields of suppressed natural health and healing and honest spiritual mind fuckery, secret agency manipulations. Now that these topics are more widely discussed, wannabes who discover or exploit you and your earlier work and material seem compelled to take offense to the fact that you did it first before them. Neediness disguised as arrogance, false bravado, fucking hyper insecure morons still can't tell the difference between being and wannabeing. And that's really cute and sweet, and I wish it was that simple. Just jealous people. And yeah, there's definitely a lot of jealousy involved, but it's not... I mean, these people are being paid. Um, and I know it's hard for everyone to watch all my videos, but I'll tell you what. I have to just say this. I had clients who own, who are the face of owners of multi-million dollar health-related supplement type companies. He did not even know who was running the show. He knew that they groomed him to do, to be the face of this network. And, you know, they always have to have a pretty young girl or whatever, make it look good. And, <laughs> oh my gosh. But, uh, yeah. Um, hmm. He came to me, which I thought was weird. Like, well, why are you coming to me if you own this company and this supplement's supposed to change your life and it's healing everybody? It's the fountain of youth, right? Well then, you know, I can't go into everything, but I'll just say this. Military-related, the word zombie came up, yes, and I talked about this in my supplement video, that people do purposefully, knowingly poison supplements that they sell 
for an agenda, right? So the people who already drink and drug and have frivolous sex and eat GMO foods and fast food, you know, shit like that, they're already got to. So they need to get to people like us, right? And so they're going to sell you a package of this nice little supplement. And then you're, before you know it, you're just like them. You might as well go to the doctor and take Ritalin and Xanax and I'll bilify and, you know, everything else. But, okay, so I'm going to stop on that tangent and get back to Aaron. So anyways, so I saw after that comment about the, uh... oh, wait, you know what? I do want to say something else. Okay, so in regards to this comment that you were far ahead of the times and sharing the knowledge and information now that the topics are more widely discussed, let's talk about these topics that are more widely discussed and why they are more widely discussed. It's because they sent in the replacement teams, the replacement teams to replace me and other very few real truth tellers. Not people that just repeat other people's stuff or repost other people's blogs or articles. I'm talking like real creators. There's... You'll never hear their name if they do exist right now, okay? So the big names that you're sharing and supporting and passing around and look at them as like they're some fucking god. Those are the replacement teams. Mm -hmm. They all vetted each other, right? Oh, yeah, my good friend. Oh, yeah, and this person was vetted from, you know, this secret person and, you know, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I've said enough about that. So anyways, after the uh, comment about her deleting my comments, I decided I would go to the page and look. So I typed in Erin at Health Nut News. Oh, wait. I'm blocked. Oh. <laughs> so there you go. She deleted all my comments, deleted the evidence, and then blocked me. So again, not one, oh, I'm sorry. Not one, oh, how can we fix this? Oh, wait. Hey, I'm scrolling. I can... Hey, I can see some of the posts. Let's see. Okay, so I'll just go double check to see if they really are um, deleted. And then I guess I'll check her site. But Okay, so I'm seeing them, but I am blocked because I can't like the page or anything like that. So let's scroll down and we'll just confirm. But yeah, see, I'm blocked because I can't like or comment or... You know, on anything. Oh, another one found dead. Everybody found dead. And that's what I said to her. I'm like, dude, you're talking about all these holistic practitioners found dead or dying. Well, hi, I'm right here. I'm like, these are strangers. I am right here in front of your face. I did not know that she was involved until this last couple days. So I really was expecting her to be like, oh, wow, what happened? Let's hear Nope. Completely ignored me and tried to diminish, belittle me, because I'm so stupid, obviously. <laughs> okay, so, well, I found one of them. Oh, yeah, no, did you see that? My comment was there, but then it disappeared. Wow, that's a bummer, and there's no way for me to comment. So, yeah, that one, it's still, oop, that's the one on her site. So let's check if she did... Somebody else said that she removed the photo from her site, so let's see. Oh, no, big lie. Still there. Mm hmm Which was stolen from my blog from 2013. Mm-hmm. Where I healed that gap in seven days. <clears throat> so, I'm the only one, I think, that has any actual real before and after photos with actual evidence. Everyone else just shows like dumb photos. But, but anyways, so okay, for those of you who thought that she took the photo down off of her site, she absolutely did not. That is clearly HealthNet News. 
healthnetnews.com, oil polling research, the same title it is in a million other places, Erin Elizabeth. Oh, what did I find out her real name is? Erin Elizabeth. Oh, look, the virus just popped up on my phone. Wow. Look at that, huh? So that's what happens when you go to Health Net News. You go... All righty then, this is fun, real time. Oh yeah, now this is popping up. Let's clean it and your system is heavily damaged by four virus. Well, I guess I'll find out. Did she ruin my phone? Okay, let's see. All right, so I'm not going back to HealthNet News, but you could see the link there, healthnetnews.com, and you see that she was the author. Um, let's see the other post where she said, oh, yeah, the copyright. Uh, I wonder if she deleted. Probably not, because she's such an attention whore. We're just a whore. Boom! And for those asking about the photo copyright below, this isn't our site. Obviously, we shared it from another site. Thanks. Another site. Another site that you own in your big web ring? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is great. All right. I have to put the phone down for a sec. Okay. All right. So... All right, dude. <laughs> I've been slandered, so I know what it's like. So when people send me things about other people, I usually don't believe it at all. However, this one is pretty easily looked into. So I'm going to show you an article that uh, somebody sent. The link is called waronwethepeople.com. It's called Sex, Drugs, Dead Doctors, and Internet Fraud, The Secret Lives of Erin Elizabeth Finn. Oh, oh, oops. And Dr. Joseph Nicola, Marcola. Oh, wow. And I'm not going to read it to you, but Namakola Cotton, another consumer fraud. He paid off over $5 million. Totally, completely silent. Um, unfair business practices, uh, connections to really interesting events, Heidi Fleiss and company, more sex drugs. And I guess she has a whole bunch of other sites. Um, I'm not going to go through it all. You're just going to have to go find it, uh, yourself. But, um, I didn't even want to read it because I'm like, yeah, this is bull, but it's, uh, actually not bull. And there are plenty links here that verify every single thing and really interesting uh, connections and oh her she married Mercola Dr. Mercola hmm. um seven thousand dollars a day is a call girl and no she doesn't give anybody discounts a two-day minimum um and all of her websites and things are in here um and it's just whatever I don't want to pass around smut and what people do when they're Spare time. You want to be a call girl and make seven grand a day. That's that's fine. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave that to you. I guess you can go to that website, uh, waronwethepeople.com, which I n never heard of it till today. So I wonder why. Oh, they must be legit. But I gotta go check out uh, what else they have. Um, so yeah. Again, that just goes and uh, cements the facts that I have been stating all of these years. All alternative radio and sites, names that you are allowed to hear, 
okay? I'm not talking about little people on the radio or just because there's a radio network and, you know, it doesn't mean every single person is on it or every single person on it is one of them, okay? But, so the most listened to shows are one of them. They're working for somebody. And the one the shows that aren't really listened to are the ones that you should be listening to because, yeah. Well, and how it works, and which, again, I got to see with my own eyes um, from other people who, you know, went and used these techniques, like making million, you know, hundreds of different profiles and propping themselves up, but they do have networks and people behind them, they get paid, and they do that all day long, and so that's how all of these names just appear out of the blue, and they're just like this big, respected rock star, right? It just, out of the blue. Again, I I talked about in a video before, I think it was the radio one, like, where were they? Where's their history? Where'd they come from? Where were they actually active? What what did they actually do? Like, I could show you my entire life history. Everything from softball to restaurants to modeling to children to homeless activism from the time I was 12. Uh, you know, like, everything. I, everybody knows why I'm in natural health today. Didn't start that way. Started out just like everyone else. I wasn't born this, you know, perfect rock star that's here to save the world and follow me. No, no. I was very clear. I'm just a regular person trying to figure shit out. I knew shit was wrong, but I didn't know what right was. I had to go and find it on my own. And for that, I had to be persecuted. It's all right. I know I've helped a lot of people and I get comments and emails and things every day. People all over the world thanking me from 13 to 80s, 90s. Real heartfelt thank yous because I changed their life. I didn't just forward somebody else's article and sell them a product. No, I spent time with them and gave them all the information they needed so they would never have to rely, buy anybody's products, ever. Mm -hmm. Including if I ever make my own again. No, because I give you all the information for free in the videos, <laughs> right? Or shows or interviews when other people interview me. I'm on their show and people call in and, you know, they hold on for hours because I'm answering their questions and... Yeah, that's the difference between a real and a fake, you know, and this whole XO and love and, you know, acting all like your miss thing. It's a high class, high class, high paid tall girl who's also a lying thief. I mean, let's, and a parroter, you repeat other people's words. Yay, good job. You forward other people's work. Good job. Who are you really? Hmm. Aaron Elizabeth Finn. All right. And all those other sites where all my stuff is posted on. It all stemmed from healthnetnews.com. Written by Aaron Elizabeth. So I'm pretty sure at this point in time, and the way she uh, chose to not respond to anyone or other than to try to make it look like I'm lying, then delete me and block me. <laughs> what does that tell you? Yeah, and you know what? So I have all this shit in my head. I know this, and I know even more. And it's so hard for me to watch what's going on, and like I can't say everything, but I will say this. That's why I'm really closing myself off from people. You people that follow these people, oh, it's about the information? Bullshit. Get the information somewhere. Do it on your own. All they're doing is reposting other people's shit, right? I just have a hard time, like, sharing energies with people who fall for all of that stuff. Yeah. A lot of people on my friends list follow all those fake sites, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you think you're being educated. 
Well, didn't this just prove to you that they don't, number one, they don't write the info. Number two, they don't even know what's on their site. And number three, whatever's on their site, they're not even vetting. And four, she was caught lying, bold face lying, and stealing. Yeah, I just, anyways, enjoy. I think you all should be able to have whatever smut and crap and fake news and fake everything all you want. That's fine. Just don't come crying to me. And you people that are following that, you got to start paying me for my time. <laughs> right? That's a, that's a funny thing. You're like, oh, poor Christy. Oh, and, and she's homeless and working her ass off and still helping everyone. Oh, hey, by the way, can you do this for me? <laughs> yeah, go to the website. Sign up for a session. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> Just, you know I love to do whatever I can do, time permitting, but... You know, my life's a little different now. Um, I don't have the military-industrial sex drug complex supporting me. The people who did support me are dead. Mm -hmm. The people who archived everything, who watched everything, witnessed everything, who were right there, got attacked for standing up for me, standing up for the truth. Dead. Mm-hmm. How come they don't talk about us? We were in radio, right? They're in radio. You'd think, hey, we're we're comrades, right? You notice how none of these people in alternative radio want to talk to me? The original? Well, not the original like that, but the original in what I did. The health experiments, the, you know, healing gangrene, the oil, you know, all of that. Not one. <laughs> what does that tell you? And there's been a few that have come to me for information, and then they say they want me to go on their show. They just take the information, and I never hear from them again. <laughs> At this time, I can't think of one radio show of anyone that I would trust right now. Not one. I'm not saying that none exist. If there are some, let me know. I'll say, of all the radio shows I am aware of right this second, not one of them are clean, pure, no agenda, in it for really trying to help people. Can't think of one. If you know of one, let me know. But if it's one of these big names that you've already put here, or that, you know, sorry. I don't want to, like, shit talk or anything. I'm just saying there's authentic people and there's fakes and every name you're allowed to hear in alternative media, just like mainstream media, which I also worked in. You're not allowed to know the genuine people. Mm -mm. Pure hearts, all pure hearts, pure hearts are targeted. The reason these people aren't targeted? Because they're part of the club. Period. Have a good night.